Hello, gentlemen. Terrence Pop here from the lair. And I'm sorry uh, my place is a little disheveled, but uh, <laughs> I'm packing up my shiat to get the fuck out of here. So uh, I told most of the stories revolve around being the Ranger Battalion. And, uh, you know, one of the big goals of actually going to the Rangers, the Ranger Regiment, one of the battalions, is to get a shot to go to Ranger School. Now they have a very, very high pass rate. And um, the one of the main reasons that is, is after you've been in the Ranger Battalion for basically a year, you have done everything that they do at Ranger School. So when you, you go there, it's kind of like old hat, you know, it is what it is. Now, despite that fact, the regiment still sends everybody from the regiment to the regimental pre-ranger. All right, now I'm gonna go over some of the stuff they cover at the uh, regimental pre-ranger. And uh, those would be warning orders, operation orders, patrolling and patrolling techniques, infantry team and squad movement techniques, uh, react to direct contact, indirect contact, and uh, far, uh, far ambush, i.e. snipers, stuff like that. Uh, land navigation, basic uh, and advanced, day and night to include terrain association, resection and intersection uh, type land navigation skills. Uh, not tying, river crossing, uh, drown proofing, which was kind of shitty, but it always is. It sounds like it'll be fun, but it's not. Okay, uh, first aid. Uh, of course, the road marching, and I believe when I was in pre-ranger, we did at that time. I think they removed it from uh, the tasks that you do now because they don't want people to get injured. But we did four jumps. Uh, that was a high number back then, but also pre-ranger was just shy of a month long, like four or five days short. Now, when they were giving all of these blocks of instruction, which I already knew since, you know, I'd already been in the battalion almost a year i think it was a year actually you know it is what it is uh, i really don't remember much about those classes per se other than um they began with ended with low crawling and calisthenics somewhere in between that whole course at the time was run by a sergeant spizo in my opinion i didn't really care for him at all uh he ran he also was involved in running rip and uh, again, it was more of the same shit. Uh, the learning value of pre-ranger, for me at least, was next to nothing. Because it just, you know, when you're trying to teach people shit, making them a low crawl and physically, you know, PTing them to fucking death is just not the right answer. But who am I? What the fuck do I know? Uh, let's see. We rolled a deuce and a half. Uh, that happened, you know, in pre-ranger and in ranger school because we're driving out to the land nav range and in Fort Benning, the sand is really fucking deep and it gets fucking ruts in it. And the, our driver hit the ruts and put the, the vehicle on its side. And the same thing happened when I was in ranger school, so. Which was like, I think it was happened like three or four weeks later. I just couldn't believe how fucked up the whole fucking pre-ranger program was in that regard. Um, yeah, I mean, I remember talking to the other guys from the other battalions that were there, who were lower ranking guys. Uh, most of us were E4s, E5s. There were a couple sixes, and I believe we had one E7 who was a cook at first bat, and he was actually squared away. Uh, and it was always the same thing, you know. Um, sure, we knew how to low crawl like a motherfucker and run away from fucking artillery and all the basic techniques and stuff, but what can I say? Um, again, I already covered most of that stuff when I was in the battalion. I had a good squad leader and uh, and team leader that sat me down and taught me all this shit and how to get get through it, and that really paid off dividends. Uh, but that's neither here, here nor there. So, you know, you, you go to pre-ranger and like literally you graduate from, from pre-ranger like at nine in the morning and after lunch, they drive you and they drop you off at ranger school. All right, and you stay there that day, that night, the next day, everyone shows up for the class and you do the PT test. Okay, now back then you had to get a 70 in each event, all through the uh, sit-ups, push-ups, and the run. 
Uh, it wasn't that big of a deal for me. I whipped right through it. Um, I basically did enough push-ups when I got to 70 that I just said stand up and move because there were so many fucking people there. But what I did notice um, that the National Guard guys that were coming in, even a couple of the Army Reserve, Reserve guys back in the day because uh, I believe back then they had several Army Reserve Special Forces units who were sending guys to Ranger School. And I knew a lot of those guys were in fucking rocket shape and they were fucking, you know, kicking them out, making them, like, counting eight, nine push-ups out of, like, 70. It, it was fucking disgusting. I literally watched a guy, you know, do, like, one, 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 two, two, two. And that went on all the way to, like, nine or ten. And the guy had done, like, maybe a hundred fucking push-ups and only got credit for nine, ten, thirteen fucking push-ups. It was fucking horseshit. And I dealt with this later on when I was in the National Guard from the other end. That's another story. We'll get to it when I, when I get to my National Guard days. You guys will love that one. So, you know, th that's basically, it's a, a way to weed out the people that they don't want to go to, they don't want to go into their school. That was another problem throughout all of Ranger School. You had the tab protectors who were just fucking, they were R.I. Nazis. And I was assigned to Alpha Company for my first go round, you know, all the way through Ranger School. And I believe Alpha Company graduated 12 people out of their entire company, first time goes. Um, and then I think another 13 to 15 from that company graduated as because the, they were recycled to other classes, which was me. The shit that went on at Alpha Company back then was fucking just egregious. It was beyond fucking harassment. It was straight up abuse. Now... That's not me whining about it. That's me being honest here. Uh, as a professional, with the amount of time I have in, back then I was on the young side. It was abuse back then. And looking at it back from, you know, clear perspective that I have now, that's that's exactly what it was. So, you know, I, I keep remembering a guy during the PT test, you know, he fucking did the push-ups, the sit-ups, and he does the two-mile run. And he misses it by like two seconds. So he got like a 69. He had a 70, no, a 70, 70, a 69. And they were gonna kick him out. So he, I don't know, he pulled some strings or he knew somebody, but he worked this fucking weird drug deal out. Like they basically gave him like 20 minutes to rest. He drank some water. He took the PT test again and fucking made it. That was fucking amazing. Cause it was a hot fucking day. So that dude did the push ups and sit ups twice and did the two mile run twice. And the second time he ran the two mile run, he ran it like 17 seconds faster, he made it. <laughs> that dude was fucking insane. Okay, now it starts off, you know, I knew I was gonna have a rough time because um, you start off at like, a, I think it's city week or city phase. And uh, they basically asked the class you know, or the company I was in, all right, who here is from the Ranger Battalion? You know, and. I was young and stupid. So I'm like, ah, I'm right here. And they're like, oh, great. You're the administrative first sergeant. So when we were doing all the tactical shit, they would pick, you know, hey, you're the first sergeant or you're the platoon sergeant, you're the, you're the uh, fucking PL, squad leader, squad leader, squad leader, and the rest of you are just snuffies. Okay, and that would rotate like usually twice a day, you know, and they would grade you on your leadership potential. But in between, they were like, all right, we're going admin. Admin first sergeant post and no matter what I was fucking doing I would have to run up there in front of them report in Put my rucksack down pull out the goddamn clipboard And I would have to make sure you know that everyone was there Who was hurt who was not hurt who needs to see a medic? I'd have to have all the serial numbers checked of all sensitive items All weapons all that crazy ass shit and I had to have it done like in like 10 minutes So I got pretty good at it but it was extra punishing for me because I couldn't be uh, a drone in the background who just whoosh, turns off and, and just goes through the motions because that makes the day go a lot faster. So, I mean, it was unfucking believable. So we, we go through, you know, the, pl the, the uh, planning phases and city phase. And I remember they're keeping us up and they're fucking with us. And I remember, and this happened to me like four or five times. 
you know, I'm, I'm making the terrain model and I'm, you know, coloring in it with fucking MRE Kool-Aid and using yards and making fucking the, the grid lines to the map, you know, and I'm doing the, you know, the fucking the, the nod off, you know, I'm like, okay, uh, all right, here we go, this is all, yeah. Uh, well, one of those times, I nod off, I'm like, uh, and I, I open my eyes, and there is a grenade simulator right there on the fucking terrain model, and it's smoking, I meaning the guy pulled the string. So if I did not wake up, that thing would have blown up in my fucking face. I mean, if it would have been artillery simulator, you throw one of those down, it makes that like two or three seconds scream, then it explodes. No, not with a grenade simulator. So I'm like, oh shit, I fucking roll down, boom, blows the whole fucking crater and my fucking goddamn terrain model and they fucking laugh at, ha, 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 I bet you don't sleep again. I'm like, goddamn. I mean, what a fucking, he could have blinded me. I mean, fucking ain't. And this one particular I, RI that did that, he did that shit all the time. <clears throat> like if he caught you sleeping, he wouldn't wake you up. He would just throw a grenade sampler by you and it'd blow up and fucking, you know, scare the fuck out of you. Some guys got fucking pretty fucked up by it. You know, <laughs> eh, it's fucking ranger school. People get hurt there all the fucking time. Uh, city phase went off without without much of a hitch. Um, I did okay, you know. I got I got my go there. Um, I got one, yeah, two goes there. And then we went to um, uh, what was it? It was Florida phase. Okay, Florida phase is at England Air Force Base, and the way that works, um, you do some of it on land, and then the rest of it is all takes place in and out of the swamps. I mean, you're moving in and out of the swamps all fucking day and night, okay? I mean, it was fucking miserable. Now, I had never actually experienced this, but when you go without food for a long period of time, you run out of fat to burn. All right, you burn up all the fat on your liver, you burn up all the fat in your blood, and then you start burning up all the fucking muscles that you have. And it throws off this hot, really putrid ammonia stink. All right, and after a while, you, you lose track of the smell, but uh, it fucking gets to you. And I remember I was so fucking weak and so emaciated that, you know, we would dig these fighting positions, but since the water table was so high, we would just dig hasty fighting positions, which are mainly 18 inches deep, and you put the berm of dirt in front of you, and you fight behind that. It's more its more like a shallow grave. But, I mean, i for me to dig my own hasty fighting position was a fucking just nightmare chore because I was so fucked up. I mean, I couldn't even break the roots. I remember I'm down there, eh, these little fucking pine tree roots, like, eh, try, trying to cut through those fucking things. But, you know, made it. Um, you know, I, I got a fucking, uh, P, uh, yeah, I got a major go there. So I, I was going into Florida phase. I had two goes. Then I had one go in Florida phase. Because you pretty much got to get at least one go to move on. All right. And you got to have a go in each phase. Plus, I believe you had, back then you had to have one PL or platoon sergeant go, which... Uh, th for, throughout the whole thing. So, um, I did not have a, a platoon sergeant or PL go. So, I was I basically had three goes. I was, I was looking pretty good. Now, we're going to get to some of the stories from Florida phase. Uh, I'm sorry, I, there's nothing really good in this one. This is just the build-up. So, you, you just know kind of what Ranger School was like. And uh, <laughs> get ready because... I got a whole ass load of these. You guys take it easy.